Hello, and welcome to today's episode of The Daily Blend. I am your host, AC, and we are joined in studio today with Chris Campbell, who is the executive director of the Boone County History and Culture Center. How are you, Chris? I'm great, AC. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Good good to have you here on the sofa. Yeah. So tell us, what's going on at the Boone County History Center? I bet a lot. Our 100th anniversary. Yeah, yeah, that's big. We're 100 years old. 100 years old. 100, the Boone County Historical Society, which is the nonprofit, um, we're located at the History and Culture Center, mm -hmm. was uh, born on July 16th, 1924. July Downtown 16th. Columbia. Downtown Columbia. Yeah, so we're coming. We've been celebrating already this year with a few things, and we got a few things more um, to unwrap as the summer months come at us. Mm -hmm. What a gosh, what does it mean to have been around for such a long time? You've seen a lot. It means a lot. Yeah. Uh, it means a lot. And um, it's not too surprising. You know, in 1924, there wasn't anything like this, but uh, 18 fellows got together over lunch mm -hmm. at the Daniel Boone Tavern and said, we need a historical society. Mm. We need to start uh, remembering and recognizing our history. And at that point, the the county was only 104 years old and the city was 103 years old. Mm -hmm. But uh, it survived even without uh, a building or an office until the 70s. Wow. It survived. Yeah. So, uh, and in 1990, 1990, we built a 19,000 square foot museum space, which mm -hmm. is that for those of you that don't quite know where we are, and a yes. lot of people don't, we're a little bit off the beaten road, but we're just, uh, when you're on 63, just south of Grindstone, mm -hmm. all you have to do is look to the West and you're going to see this building with a big, bright red metal roof yes. and a whole mess of American flags out in front. Yes. That's the Boone County History and Culture mm -hmm. Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're in uh, Frank G. Nifong Memorial Park. And I should mention part of our festivities this summer in celebration is a free family-oriented party mm -hmm. in the park on Saturday, July 13th. And mm -hmm. we're calling it Popsicle Fest. Popsicle Fest. Every time I say that to somebody, they're like, Popsicle, what, what is that about? How did Popsicle Fest come to be? How did the name of it come to be? Credit goes to <laughs> David Wilson. Yes. Uh, founder of True, False, and Ragtag, co-founder. He's vice president of our board, and he's on the committee to plan a lot of these events this summer. Uh, we were, we were uh, having trouble with coming up with a name that, mm -hmm. that wasn't the Boone County Historical <laughs> Society's 100th 100. anniversary. <laughs> yes. No, can't do that. Yes. <laughs> so he comes to me one day, and he just goes, Chris. I go, yeah. He goes, Popsicle Fest. I go, that's awesome. Why? <laughs> yes. Why are we calling it that? He'd done his homework. The popsicle mm -hmm. was first patented and distributed as a treat in 1924. So it's 100 years it's old, 100 too. 100 years old as we well. We just thought this will draw family and kids, which is the, the folks we want to have come out mm -hmm. and introduce ourselves to. And so everybody's getting a free popsicle that Everybody day. Everybody gets a popsicle. Yeah, that's Are right. Are they various flavors? Or? Yeah, they will be various flavors. Ooh. And Log Boat's going to join us, too, that day with okay. their, their beer truck. And they asked us uh, when they were informed about the Popsicle Fest, hey, can we bring a spiked Popsicle for the grown-ups? Oh, so, okay, that just changed the game, And after Chris, checking yeah. with my committee, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do we want to do this? They were like, yeah, uh, so we're yes. going to have that, too. You just upped your attendance Very, by, like... <laughs> I think so. <laughs> you upped your attendance. I mean, now I'm like, okay, yeah. a spiked Popsicle. Yeah. I like it. It'll be fun. And they'll have, speaking of Logboat, they're regular beers, but I'm, we're really excited about three legendary local restaurants and vendors. Tell us about them. Yeah, yeah, who we approached uh, early in the year and said, hey, would you consider doing a specialty product that commemorates our 100th? Mm -hmm. And they all jumped on. They were all enthusiastic. So this summer, uh, not yet, we're still probably a couple of weeks away, mm -hmm. there's going to be a Boone County Centennial, Boone County History uh, Society, Historical Society Centennial uh Pizza at mm -hmm. Shakespeare's. Mm -hmm. There's going to be an ice cream at Sparky's. Mm -hmm. And Logboat is coming out in days now with a Centennial IPA oh. that has our name and our 100th logo on it oh. and a QR code that takes people to our site so they can look around. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's really cool. It is. And so, okay, let me get back to the pizza. Okay. Is, is, did Ham make it on the pizza or what? It's very likely because of the nine prototypes that the fantastic students at the culinary school at mm -hmm. Columbia Area Career Center, mm -hmm. they created the prototypes. We had a taste testing. I'd say five of the nine involved Boone County ham. That's what I wanted. And the top two or three had Boone County ham. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's going to have Boone County ham and maybe a little Boone County honey. Okay. And I would imagine that'll be limited edition. It or... will. The same will be true of the ice cream and the beer. I think we're going to see them through the summer mm -hmm. and maybe into the first of the fall. Okay. And it'll be a limited run for all of them. Okay. Well, people, if you're listening and watching, make sure you grab yours. Yeah. Make sure you grab, well, all three. Just go visit sure. all three places. Sparky's, Logboat, and Shakespeare's. Uh, Shakespeare's. That's right. 
right. Make sure you do. Okay. So tell us when Popsicle Fest is. Saturday, July 13th. Okay. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. The 10 to 2 is because it's a hot July day. Sure. And we wanted to get it close to our actual birthday. So yeah. we're going to wrap things up by 2. But we're going to have live music on the gazebo there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have bands from about uh, uh, 1030 through 2. A um, couple of bounce houses for the kids. Mm -hmm. Face painting for the kids. A kid's uh, scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have uh, plein air artists doing okay. their thing and, oh. and selling some art. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have a couple of food trucks and the free popsicles. And the free popsicles. I don't know what more you can ask for. And, and all of our, I'm sorry to interrupt, all no, of go. our historic homes out there that we curate, mm -hmm. five of them, they'll all be open for free for tours that oh, day. Oh, okay. That's yeah. nice. I don't think I've ever been in the homes out yeah, there. Yeah, you got to go. Okay. I like that. And so, and, and you've got a variety of music. We do. Uh, in no particular order, because mm -hmm. I don't think we've set that yet, but um, we're going to hear uh, some excerpts from the 9 to 5 Dolly Parton musical at Maplewood. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do their thing for a little bit. We're welcoming Ironweed, which is a bluegrass band. Mm -hmm. We're welcoming Mo Soul from Soul Collective mm -hmm. for some R&B and soul. And... Uh, Tyne Toomsome and its Twang City Smokers. Okay, let me guess. Country? <laughs> country. Yes, country, I knew it. Country rock. <laughs> I so, knew it. So uh, that's who we've got. That sounds really good. Yeah. Like a great lineup. Nice mix. Something for everybody. Right. I like that. Something for everybody. And so where can people find out more information about that event? Boonhistory.org. Okay. Um, and it's, by the way, it's a free event. Oh. It's come and go as you please. Mm -hmm. uh, overflow parking will be in the Discovery Business Park just about um, a couple hundred yards away. Yeah. So if you've been to Heritage Festival, which mm -hmm. is where this is taking place, mm -hmm. um, the overflow satellite parking is the same place it would be for Heritage Festival. That is wonderful. Great information for anybody who wants to attend. It's a free event. So make sure you go to boonhistory.org to find out more about that event and about everything that's happening. Yeah, including a treasure hunt called Boonanza. Oh, you I don't have time to tell you, you about it. You definitely want the treasure hunt. Go to the hunt. website and find out about the $30,000 prize Ooh. of jewels and gems Ooh. for the treasure hunt that celebrates our 100th. That's exciting. Thank you so much, Chris, for Thank joining you. us.